back at it, celebrating women in healthcare with CMIS. Now, today we are in Borodale at the beautiful CMIS clinic you need to see it to believe it for yourself but today we're going to be talking to a phenomenal woman who has been managing clinics and her name is dr mukaro so let's go in and find out all the details about what she's doing in terms of managing clinics Dr. Mukara, really excited to be seated with you and just, you know, talking about your life story. So I think it's always important to go back to the beginning. Who is Dr. Mielani Mukaro? Thank you so much. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. So I'm 30 years of age. I trained at um, National University of Science and Technology. That's where I did my medical training. But before that, my base or the foundation of how I wanted to become a medical doctor started in high school. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I did my A-levels at the Dominican convent in Harare. And prior to that, I was actually at Monte Cassino, but then transferred. So it was um, quite a journey. Um, after completing my A-levels, I got a place at uh, the university in Bulawayo. And after that, um, the story unfolds with me graduating in 2018 and um, doing my internship at Pari. And I then went to the district at, in Rusape at Recipe General Hospital. And after completing that, getting my doing my two years of training and internship, I then got my practicing certificate and then joined CMAS. Wow. All right. Uh, but before we get there, I, I, I heard a part of your story where you're saying that it's, uh, the journey actually started off in high school. What made you say, I want to do medicine? Um, I grew up in a family where there was a lot of studying going on. My mom is a teacher, she's a high school teacher, and my dad, he's late, but he was a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those, everyone just always used to say, oh, you you look like you can be a doctor. Mm -hmm. So I grew up just thinking, that's the profession I want. And um, yeah, I was getting the grades and it was, it just unfolded and it was easy. I, I didn't struggle that much. Mm -hmm. School-wise, um, I knew that I just had to study. And um, I loved it because it was something that was familiar with me, with my father being a pharmacist. Wow. So. All right. So you mentioned uh, you're 30 years. That's very young. And already uh, in the CMAS ecosystem, you are doing clinic management, yes? Yes. Okay. How? How? <laughs> How? Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Age. Yes, it's yeah. amazing. That's where you see that women are actually getting opportunities. And um, it starts with the women that are in the leadership or decision making roles who identify potential and then bring you up and journey with you. So um, it's about confidence, mm -hmm. having confidence, them having confidence in me and showing that I'm um, competent with my work. Mm -hmm. And that's how I'm now here as a doctor, a general practitioner. Mm -hmm. That's where that's my my field for now um, hoping to specialize but for now yes i'm now also a clinic manager mm -hmm. and uh, it's amazing i get quite a reaction like yeah. you that okay i did you complete everything like mm -hmm. how did you get there so fast yeah. but basically it's hard work and confidence in yourself hard work and confidence in yourself i like that yes. um so being that you know you're a young person and you understand all the things that needed to have happened for you to actually get to this you know very point i always like to ask what do you think needs to happen for more young women to have opportunities like you had um so uh passion mm -hmm. if you as a young woman if you are able to identify what you're passionate in the story then unfolds you get to know what you want to do and how to get there. You also have to be able to be found or to find mentors and mm -hmm. role models. So make yourself and visible. Yes. Uh -huh. Be clear of what you want and then make yourself visible. Find a mentor, find sponsorship if you need it. And they are there to help you. Those, those mentors, mentors and so forth. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, what does a young doctor who's a clinic manager do outside of medicine for a downtime? So initially, during the training, during the years, it's hard. Those are one of the barriers to balance your work and your life. 
and your social life. It's it's a challenge, mm -hmm. but um, you start with trying to establish what you really want to do when you are having your spare time. So the hours are long. They are long hours of work, but in my free time, I make sure that I try to rest mm -hmm. and recollect myself uh, and also do something creative outside the medical field. Mm -hmm. And for now, I'm trying to grow an essay, mm -hmm. hoping to have many flowers to yeah. be able to sell uh, mm -hmm. plants and flowers and to also take care of my body physically. I'm into exercising and running and uh, doing marathons. So I recently mm -hmm. saw her at a marathon, right? So did you enjoy that? I loved it mm -hmm. and I want to do more. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, okay, I can run and I like it. It's not, it's not too complicated, not too much involved, except mm -hmm. your time and consistency. So I'm hoping to do more of that and yeah, to grow an essay. That's yeah. what I hope to do. Yeah, I, I like that because it gets you some vitamin D. You're outside, you're working out, your thoughts, you can actually put them into the nursing. Okay, that's fantastic. So one other thing, um, for any young woman, any young woman who may be listening, whatever you know, industry they may be in, uh, because we're in Women's Month, we're trying to you know, celebrate women the seamless way. Uh, what are the things that you could tell, you know, just a young lady listening right now and who also aspires to be just as great as you are? So the first thing is um, focus and know what you want and be resilient. So once you know that, okay, this is the fields that I'm getting into for, in my case, healthcare with long hours, with, you know, conscious bias, you know, people think, um, oh, you're a doctor. And some, you know, when we were in government, they would, they would think, um, we haven't seen the doctor and you're like, no, it's actually, I am <laughs> yes, I am the doctor. Yeah. So there are those challenges. You have to know what you're getting into and to know the challenges mm -hmm. so that you are resilient and uh, you persevere. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you also need, like I've mentioned before, to have mentors or sponsors who are there to cater for the challenges and to help you through the challenges that you come across as a young person. But basically it's just having the passion knowing the challenges and how to go about them mm -hmm. and you'll be able and to put in the work putting well. in the work yeah. all right it requires a lot of focus yeah. uh, like you said thank you so much doc for making time for us thank you miss reed it was lovely having you yeah celebrating women right yes we are celebrating amazing women in the healthcare industry with CMAS and today we've been with Dr. Mukaro. What a lovely, amazing lady, young as well. And we just wanted to say thank you to everyone who joined us. And uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free. I know a lot of people, especially the young ones, are probably wondering, how did she do it? How did she get here? Uh, but uh, all the questions can be asked and uh, even answered on the CMAS pages. So thank you and uh, throw in all those questions. <music>